What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Darian and of course here on YouTube I go by the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. On my channel I like to talk about fragrance and fashion, so how you can look good and smell amazing each and every day. So if that sounds interesting to you, those topics or things sound interesting to you, I invite you to go ahead and click the subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the bell icon as well, that way you get notified every time I release a new video. So guys, unless you've been living under a rock, I'm pretty sure you have seen the term or heard the talk about the term high value man. Um, and I'm not here today to debate uh, whether the definition of the high value man is accurate or inaccurate, or if people have a difference of opinion about it, or who's right or wrong in certain debates. I just thought it would be fun for me to talk about 10 fragrances that my collection that I feel a high value man would wear. So by definition, a high value man is a high income earner. Okay, so your CEOs, uh, your bosses, your, your high level executives, these would be considered high value men. So again, I thought it would be fun to choose 10 fragrances from my collection that I feel like a high value man would wear. So guys, again, this is gonna be a fun video. Again, not here to debate anybody about anything. I just wanna talk about 10 fragrances in my collection that I think fit the description. So, if you guys wanna know what 10 fragrances I chose, you already know how we get down. Keep it locked, right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. As always, or has become customary on my channel, I'm enjoying some coffee. That's good. I'm not using one of my coffee mugs today. I actually put it in this cup. It keeps the uh, coffee warm, of course. You know, someone had the nerve to say that I was uh, lying about having coffee in my cup. I'm like, really? What? What, what reason in the world would I have <laughs> to lie about drinking a cup of coffee? Jesus Christ, man. Some of you guys, you get, this, maybe you got too much time on your hands. So, you know what? I'll do this for you. This is a coaster here. I'm going to pour a little bit of coffee out for whoever that person was. I usually don't entertain this kind of foolishness, but here you go. On camera for you. Boom. I just wasted some coffee for whoever you were. So if you ever come back and watch this video, <laughs> that was for you. All right, now that we've gotten that out of the way, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So again, guys, we're talking about your CEOs, your bosses, your movers, your shakers, your high level executives. What type of fragrances would they wear? Well, the first fragrance that I chose on this list is from the house of Frederick Maul, and it's this one right here, Musk Ravageur. Musk Ravageur. So guys, I feel like a CEO or a boss or a high value gentleman would want to wear a fragrance that may be expensive or a fragrance that smells different or just maybe a fragrance that they feel like nobody else will be wearing or for that matter on the other end of the spectrum a fragrance that is very, very popular and would maybe cost a lot of money. So in my mind, these guys will wear these type fragrances and I think Musk Rappers Yours is definitely a fragrance that fits that description. It's definitely... Of course, you know, Frederick Mall fragrances are not cheap by any means, any stretch of the imagination, but it's just a very a nice masculine fragrance. Again, musk is one of the main notes in this, and that's a very, very manly note. So I could really see a boss or a CEO or a high value gentleman wearing a fragrance like this. You guys know I love this fragrance as well. From this house, I could have chosen French Lover, uh, which I think will be another great one. Uh, portrait of a lady, of course, but again, honestly, a lot of fragrances from Frederick Mall could fit this type of description, but I chose this one again because I, I, that masculine kind of manly quality uh, that you get from the musk and musk rivals yours. So the first fragrance up on the list that I could see a high value man wearing is this one right here, musk rivals yours. The next fragrance that I want to talk about today or that I could see a high value man wearing is this one right here from Amwaj and this is Jubilation 25. 
Jubilation 25. This fragrance is luxurious. It's definitely a smells expensive. This is a very high quality, well done fragrance from Amwaj. And this one would fall into that category of it's, it's expensive, but at the same time, this smells very, very, very unique. So I could see a high value gentleman wearing a fragrance like this because of that unique factor that you get from Amwaj. Again, it smells great. Uh, it's very manly. It's very well done, very well blended. And I can definitely see a high value guy wearing this type of fragrance because primarily with this one because it's so unique and it's so different. So if you want to smell different and unique and wear something that not a lot of folks are going to be wearing, again, which I think a high value guy would do, this fragrance definitely fits the bill. So the second fragrance on the list today from the House of Amwaj, this is Jubilation 25. For the next fragrance on this list, guys, we're going to the House of Bikilian, and this one is Apple Brandy. Apple Brandy. I love this fragrance from Killian. This is a very unique fragrance. Again, another one that's unique and another one that smells of very high quality. Another thing, when I envision like a high value guy, I envision him coming home from a hard day's work, uh, maybe going into the office, uh, kind of finish up the evening or close up some business, and he's enjoying a glass of brandy or some type of cognac. So this fragrance, again, apple brandy has a, a beautiful cognac note in it, but it's that apple uh, and cognac is a very nice combination. I can definitely see after a hard day's work, you know, a high value guy coming home, rolling up his sleeves to finish up the day, and he's been rocking apple brandy all day and having a glass of brandy once he gets home to kind of unwind. So definitely a fragrance I think that will fit that bill for a high value gentleman. This one right here from By Killian is Apple Brandy. The next fragrance on this list guys, we are going to the house of Tom Ford and this one is Noir Anthracite. Noir Anthracite. Now before the blue birds come out, I understand this is not a mass appealing fragrance by any stretch of the imagination. This one was definitely uh, had some alternate opinions about this fragrance when it was released. Uh, Tom Ford from this Noir line, you know, the fragrances that people normally talk about, specifically the Noir Extreme, which is one of my favorites. But again, we're talking about a CEO. And this fragrance, although I did not like it at first, is one that you have to wear to appreciate. And I can definitely see a high value gentleman rocking this fragrance right here is very very unique it's super duper masculine and again i can just see a guy that wants to smell different and wants to wear something that not everybody else is going to be wearing a high value gentleman will reach for something like this it kind of has this traditional quality to it but again guys this is just like the quintessential masculine male fragrance right here so i can again definitely see somebody that's a high level executive a ceo or AKA again, a high value man wearing a fragrance like this one right here. So with that being said, I can definitely see somebody of that level rocking this one right here from Tom Ford. And again, this is Noir Anthracite. All right guys, the next fragrance on the list, we're going to the house of Creed. And it's this one right here in the black bottle. It's Green Iris Tweed. Now Green Iris Tweed has already been linked to a lot of high level CEO executive type guys. A lot of celebrities, actors of the like have been said to wear green iris tweed. And I can see why. Again, it's a very, very, uh, from the standpoint of this list, kind of mass appealing type DNA. Of course, a lot of people uh, link fragrances like cool water to uh, green iris tweed. But again, it's just a very masculine, clean, high level fragrance. Um, definitely if you can get a bottle of Green Iris Tweed or any bottle of Creed that preceded the 2017-18 time frame. Very, very high quality, very, very well done. So a clean, fresh, masculine fragrance. I can definitely see CEOs and bosses rocking this fragrance right here. So, of course, this one had to make the list from the House of Creed. This is Green Iris Tweed. All right, guys, and the next fragrance that I want to talk about that I can see a high value uh, man rocking is this one right here from the house of Maison Francis Kirk John. This is Grand Soir. This is quintessential masculine sexy goodness right here in this bottle. I always say this is one of the best ambery 
uh, fragrance. This is a very creamy, sensual, buttery, ambery fragrance. And again, I could definitely see a high value uh, guy rocking a fragrance like this because it just smells of quality. And that's why I chose this one again. The name kind of speaks to a high value gentleman wearing a fragrance like this. I mean, the name of his grand soir. So I could see that definitely be a, being a fragrance that a gentleman like that would gravitate towards because again, it smells of high quality and it's a very, very sexy kind of exclusive smelling scent. So definitely had to make the list from the house of Maison Francis Kirk John. This is Grand Soir. All right, and coming in next on the list today, a fragrance that a high value gentleman would wear from the house of bond number nine. This one is New York Oud. New York Oud, man, this is just sexy goodness in a bottle. And this is a rose based fragrance, but again, it has Oud and I think Amber maybe even in this as well. So it's just a very, very uh, masculine take to me on a Oud type DNA uh, without definitely going uh, too, in, too much in that Oud kind of category. Uh, and being animalic, this is just kind of the perfect blend to me. So again, Oud is a fragrance that I, a fragrance note that I would link to gentlemen of high value. Again, uh, the CEO of boss type guys, I can definitely see them rocking this fragrance right here. It's one of my favorites, you know, and I definitely feel like I'm of high value, a high value man myself, and I love this fragrance. So hey, I feel like it had to make the list from the house of bond number nine. This is New York Oud. All right, guys, and next up on the list, we're going to the house of Roja Dove, and this one right here is Creation E. Creation E. This just embodies everything that I've talked about on this list today. Uh, the exclusivity. Uh, not a lot of folks outside of our fragrance community probably are going to choose this fragrance, so I think there's a certain level of, uh, of exclusivity as far as the folks that will be rocking this fragrance. So, again, I definitely see a high-value guy going for something like this. It's expensive. It's on the expensive uh, end of the spectrum, so I could definitely see that being a reason that a guy would reach, uh, of high value would reach for a fragrance like this. But guys, just look at the bottle on this thing. Let's get a close up of that. Just look at the bottle. Look at Creation E. This is just an absolutely gorgeous fragrance right here. The bottle, the presentation. Again, it has the, the boozy cognac. I, I associate that those type characteristics with a fragrance that a high value guy would wanna wear as well. This is just everything that I've talked about on the list today. So definitely had to make this list from the House of Roger Dove. This one is Creation E or Enigma. All right, guys, we have two fragrances left on the list today. So coming in at the second spot, although these are not really in order, but coming in at the second spot, we're going back to the House of Tom Ford. And this one is Ombre Leather. Ombre Leather. Definitely a boss type fragrance in my opinion. Again, you, you think about notes like leather, you definitely think about, again, that, that leather brings a masculine type quality and appeal to a lot of fragrances, in my humble opinion. And again, this is kind of that sweet, leathery fragrance, definitely gives you that vibe of a high value guy. I can see high value gentlemen wearing this to work, but definitely more so too on more of a casual type basis. If you're gonna go out on the weekend, you're a high level, a uh, high value man, you're wearing a nice pair of jeans and a nice blazer out and about, kind of doing, running some errands, doing some shopping or hanging out with the family. I could definitely see in this being like a go-to fragrance for a high value gentleman. So coming in at the second spot from the house of Tom Ford, this one is Ombre Leather. All right guys, and last but not least, could not leave this fragrance off of a list like this. The number one fragrance on this list today that I feel like a high value man would wear is from Creed, and this is Aventus. Aventus. Guys, don't get it twisted. I know this fragrance has kind of been a victim of its own success. There are so many clones out there today, uh, combined with the fact that Creed has kind of gone through some changes over the last couple years and the quality of their fragrances are not what they used to be. But don't get it twisted, guys. This is one of the most popular fragrances in the world. It's known as the king of fragrances for a reason. And again, everything that I've talked about on the list today, I think this embodies all those characteristics. It definitely smells of high quality. This batch right here is a 17 N01 batch that I have here. Smells of quality, uh, again, is a very popular fragrance. So a lot of your CEOs 
that are not really even into fragrances like that have probably heard of Creed Aventus as probably one of the best fragrances out there. So I'm sure it's a fragrance that a lot of these high value guys would reach for because of the price point, because of the popularity on this. But guys, the fragrance was made with the idea uh, of success behind it. So, I mean, guys, CEOs, high value guys, success, Creed Aventus, they all kind of go together. So the number one fragrance on this list today from the House of Creed, of course, is the king, Creed Aventus. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That's my time. Thank you so much for taking a few moments to watch this video. As I gave you 10 fragrance recommendations or 10 fragrances from my collection that I feel like a high value man would wear. As always, I appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, I know you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me. You took a few moments to watch this video, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget, guys, to take the time to like, comment, and subscribe, and share these videos out to folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining because I'm your guy, Daring, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and, of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.